Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a 16-year-old female who comes in with pain in her left knee. She runs every day and is feeling pain. The parents and the orthopedic surgeon were worried about a stress fracture and thought that maybe she needed to stop running for a while, but wanted to make sure first by getting an MRI. And on this MRI, we see just a benign lesion here in the femur. This is the femur. It comes down to the femoral shaft up here. This is the medial condyle, lateral condyle, the tibia is down below to get oriented here. And this is off to the lateral side. We know it's lateral because of the fibula over here, this little bone over here. And so this is the lateral femoral metaphysis. And this is just a benign bone lesion, very, very common. Up to 20% of people have these. And you can think of them as not even a bone tumor, just a, it's a benign little defect that goes away as they age. So it looks like a tumor, um, but you hate to mention it because um, it scares people, and it really is just a developmental anomaly seen really, really commonly, and it just goes away with time. So this is a little uh, non-ossifying fibroma or fibrous cortical defect. Now, the real finding is over here in the femur in the middle. We see this foggy area of brightness here. This is a, um, it's a sequence that shows marrow abnormalities as bright. So anything dark is normal. The subcutaneous fat is normal. The tibia down here is nice and dark and normal. But here in the femur, we see this foggy area of brightness around the growth plate. So this is periphyseal, around the growth plate. The physis is the growth plate. And if we look on this view, this is called a T1-weighted image where marrow is bright. Subcutaneous fat is bright. Fat is bright on this, so marrow has a lot of fat. It's bright. Subcutaneous fat is bright. And if we go to this image, this is the growth plate, which is dark. This will eventually fuse. Down here, it's already starting to fuse in the tibia. And there it is. We have this dark vertical band here. And this is where the growth plate is just beginning to fuse right here. And when, as it fuses, it can cause edema around the edge. We call it focal uh, periphyseal edema, which is the acronym FOPE, FOP. It's a FOP zone. And this can cause knee pain, and this will usually go away with time as the rest of the growth plate eventually fuses, then this will resolve spontaneously. So this is a good finding for her because she knows she does not have a stress fracture. It looks great. And this is just a little FOP zone, another developmental anomaly that's going to go away as she ages, just like this little non-ossifying fibroma. This will resolve, and this too will resolve as she ages. So they're very happy. And uh, that's it. So this is a FOP zone where the uh, growth plate has started to close just focally. And they have marrow edema around it, and this can cause pain in the knee. Thank you very much.